Hey guys, how you doing? So, been working last two days. Really tired. I gotta get. Uh, I gotta finish today. It's been enough. I've been working yesterday. Then I went to the dentist. Then I worked today all day, and uh, finished four another blades in the two days. And uh, I'm tired. Still have tons of kydex sheets to do. But I just there's no need to no point of rushing. I'm gonna enjoy the weekend, even though I'm home. But uh, what should I start with? This one I did yesterday. Small one. This is like a actually ship that first one where I did. It's the same exact thing. This one is tiny bit bigger than the one from yesterday. Actually, the one I sent to Kylie. Uh, I like this. I think these are good looking little neck knives. Uh, this one I actually did did do kind of like a nice finish again. Uh, the line is not perfect straight, but this is all freehand without anything, without even a tool rest. You know that little table where you can go flat. Is everything completely freehand grind? That's that's how I do it. That's how I kind of like to do it. And also because my table I cannot screw it on. I have to fix up one screw there. But uh, pretty cool. Uh, very nice finish I think it has that satin finish that very uniform one the actually last time I couldn't remember it's called Trizact the the belts it is kind of like a gator belt it has uh, doesn't have just random you know sandpaper and you know like a s sand particles on it it's actually uniform it has like a little rectang rectangular on the angles so that's why it creates this super super uniform pattern in the grind and uh, they are expensive but uh, it's pretty nice but I'm not sure if it's worth it because they don't last as much and uh, it's literally just for this finish nothing nothing else really at least as far as I know so this one is pretty cool this one's gonna get the blue kydex I think that's gonna go well with the kind of like greenish bluish handle I like this seat like uh, I don't know if I mentioned I did actually order another one. I ordered the uh, clear epoxy, clear resin with the uh, red colored, like a toxic red or vibrant red colored uh, aluminum mesh inside. I think that's gonna be a really cool co color combination as well. Uh, then I did this one today. This is actually a pretty cool one. This kind of like that spike I did it a couple of times. I call I call those spikes like this design. Cool, simple looking leaf shape. Uh, with the nice and pointy pommel on the end nothing that you would actually do would be po poking you you know it's round enough so you don't can't really you know stick yourself with it but you can you can hit with it pretty well uh, this one I did didn't do any grooves except the main index finger groove and everything is just nice and rounded and this is the homemade micarta from uh, uh, car guy seven life car guy for life which uh, is pretty cool it had that like a dragon skin pattern on it it's from the fabric that had the dragon skin pattern the whole all the layers so you know the top layer you always see that kind of like a dragon skin and then on the corners you actually see just like that kind of like a, almost like a dirty black and red combination which i really like or kind of like a damascus you would maybe call it because it's that black and red combination randomly overlaying and I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely very comfortable. My carta, especially this uh, kind of like from a cotton, cotton uh, fabric, it's very very comfortable in the hand. Uh, you cannot really finish it super well because that fine fine fabric, it it will be sticking out no matter how you. At least for me, no matter how I try to uh, you know finish it with the fine sandpapers and uh, sanding sponges the fine fine fabric on, in some places actually still kind of like picks through because it just you cannot like, cut it off it's always those fibers are always there but uh, it actually makes it super comfortable in the hand very very comfortable and uh, I like this one nice simple knife I think it looks pretty sweet and the handle handle the color combination I like black and red is one of my favorite color combination so kinda happy about this one this one I don't know what kind of uh, probably just black kydex sheet. Uh, next one, this one I started yesterday and finished today. This one I was pretty excited about. You see nice holstex sheet, good good retention, and this one has that really cool 
lighting strike carbon fiber and I put the JG10 nice and thick one about uh, I think it's a little over one eighth of an inch the liner because the lighting side was too thin I was thinking what should I put as a liner underneath it and I figured the uh, JG10 would make uh, make it interesting and still elegant so that's what I went with and uh, did the brass pins actually I don't know if you probably a lot of you guys are not aware of it the the lines you know in the lighting strike we always most of us always thought that it's actually copper cable uh, came from uh, composite craft they actually told me that these are actually brass cables which I didn't know they don't look like brass because they have a uh, copper ca uh, color but apparently he said you know he's working with it so he probably knows better he said it's actually uh, brass and uh, I like this one how it came out the the finish is nice smooth didn't polish it just finished with by hand and uh, it finished pretty nice very nice and smooth finish even without polishing did the grooves again perfect fit this handle is actually I set it up for a bigger hand actually not for my hand for my hand I would actually have have a last groove somewhere here you see I actually did set it up for you see how I spaced the fingers for a bigger hand this will go for sale so there is a probably better chance to have a somebody with the bigger hand end up having it very cool I wish it wasn't so expensive that the handle material lighting strike this is kinda like uh, it's similar to that puffer blade what I did but a little broader little wider blade and uh, little different angles it doesn't come down as much as the puffer did but uh, very similar handle I like this handle they are just good plain and simple and uh, very comfortable at least for my hand for my grip for the way I use knives I find this very very comfortable and they are not boring you know that's also like even the simple handles are good and comfortable but I just find them boring you know I want to do something that is a little different and but still as best as it can be for function so I think this this knife is pretty sweet kinda like it, it actually looks better in, in reality than here on the viewfinder I think that uh, works well I think the jade with the with the lighting strike nice I think they complement each other pretty sweet it's little you still get the tiny little hint of light if you look to the side like this if you actually look into the light it just super small translucency like it lets a little bit of light through and uh, it's cool there is uh, I've seen only the really really expensive knives custom knives with the with the lighting strike because it's really expensive so the knife maker really has to be sure that he can you know he can charge for such a expensive materials on the knife so he will get the investition investment back so I'm just lucky that I got it and uh, you know as a sample which really appreciate it was really cool from craft composite crafts to help us out and I've seen that a lot of other people did uh, got the sample packs so as overall package I think it's pretty sweet it's very good shit nice simple good set of rivets for pretty much anything and the start of the day actually one that I'm really excited about I was super happy when I finished it see the big blade this is the big machete now this is 11 and a half inch blade thin 3v steel it's nice did the nice side and finish on it it looks like it's a uh, high full high convex um, in re I mean yes it is but yes it is and it's in reality it probably goes from about two thirds down and uh, it actually goes to the thicker edge uh, it's not zero grind it doesn't go constant angle down it actually goes like that and then on the end you know it turns like this so the edge isn't too weak for some for some good hard work so it's kinda like if you would do if you would do a full flat grind and you just blend the flat or saber grind imagine saber grind machete you know with the top flat and then about two thirds fl uh, primary bevel and then secondary bevel imagine if you would convex that you know round off that primary bevel a little bit and then blend that secondary bevel into the convex edge it's kinda something like that and uh, it feels great in the hand it's super light for how big this knife is it's super light 
and uh, it feels great in the hand. I did that, I don't know what this wood is, this is that laminated wood from a USA knife maker actually for pretty fair price and I really like how it looks. This is the cherry something combination and I think you could agree with that. That is a cool looking wood. I really dig this one. Super nice and this actually beside the smell of this when you're working with it because it smells really bad I was actually even with my mask the mask I have now doesn't feel to smell I actually felt sick just from the smell of it. It's just nasty nasty smell But it actually pretty nice workability. It's not that bad to grind to sand and uh, Pretty nice nice experience to work with this one and I think it looks cool. You see that the layering is just amazing. You know, it's like a layered G10, kind of like a tiger stripe G10 of some kind, but it's wood. And I think it looks really nice. Really dig it. This is probably one of my favorite woods so far, what I work with. See, my typical, typical handle, nice bulb on the end. The, the last pinky, pinky groove goes all the way around. So we have the bulb this way and also this way a little bit. And uh, good. Good handle, I think. I like this. Made for... This one is actually like, you can fit bigger and smaller hand, no problem, because you will find those grooves where you need them. And this is a great worker. I've tried this little bit. Where is my 2x4 or something? Here's 2x4. Let me show you. Now this... This has the length. Doesn't have the weight. It's a little heavier than a 12 inch machete from like Ontario because it is a little thicker and a little bigger, wider. But uh, it's just amazing. 2x3. Two, 2x3 two two by three and because of the weight you have amazing swing in it. Not bad, no? Ooh! That's pretty decent bite I would say I like this this will be really good workers I think I mean, it's still uh, a lot of materials in it, a lot of work but I love machetes and uh, it's nothing as close to you know price of the of those like Spartans that I did but this won't be splitting as well but they will work great I cannot wait to go outside with this because it's gonna be a lot of fun with it. You see I did that Coyote Brown Kydex. Nice retention, good positive clip, not going anywhere. It's nice to do this. I live ever since I did that uh, last Kydex press. The shades are working out really nice. Just good nice long press. So let me know what you think guys. Like I said I'm excited about the big blade. I think it's gonna be really good worker. Also excited about everything really. I love these all. Good, good performance knives. And uh, they actually look pretty sweet. This thin stuff is just amazing cutters. They all cut just insanely well. See, you can, like, if you really push, you can push cut this wood. I don't know if you remember, I, I was doing it even before. See, I went all the way, the whole height of the blade, in. and if I keep going and wiggle a little bit, it will actually go through the whole thing. They are just insane performance, these thin blades. And still tough enough, As you, if you watch some of the older videos where I was testing the thin stuff, they are still actually tough enough to get some serious work done, even on harder woods and stuff like that. So, that's why I like this. Light compact, uh, easier to work with, easier to make and they will outperform the thick, uh, thicker knives for knife stuff, you know, cutting, slicing, foot prep, even the woodwork, especially woodwork actually. Uh, besides the splitting and chopping, they will outperform anything else and uh, I like it. So let me know what you think guys, I like them, enjoy the weekend, take care, stay safe and remember, don't cut yourself.